everyone welcome back to another episode of civil tech source i would suggest to put your headphones on because what i'm about to say is not for your boss to hear so basically what we're going to be looking today is how you can get topographical survey information without getting a topographical survey guide to go out well obviously it's not going to be as accurate because well what did you expect get a super accurate topographical survey just for uh, paying nothing no 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 it doesn't work like that recently i was looking at a high level strategy for earthworks and drainage on a project there wasn't any topographical survey so i've seen a video like in the past on how to extract contours from google maps and i thought that the government must have done something to like know their terrain so i stumbled upon the lidar information that the government has produced and i will leave a link in the description below and what it is essentially is they flew a plane with a laser machine pinpointed on the earth and they got the levels. Now you can get DSM and DTM and a lighter photographical, not, not very expert in that field. So if you know the difference between DSM and DTM, leave it in the comments below. As far as I know, DSM is digital surface model and DTM is digital terrain model. So basically the surface will capture everything on the surface. So basically trees, uh, buildings, but the DTM will capture the terrain. That is my understanding so far of it. And that's what I've noticed in the DSM. Now I haven't done DTM in uh, this tutorial, uh, but I'll be looking to create a new tutorial in DTM and how we can use that information uh, in our advantage. And without further ado, let's begin. What we're going to do is we're going to try and get the LiDAR information for this area. So now what we're going to do is let's go fire our PDS. Before we do anything in PDS, uh, let's go to our tutorial folder and show you what we need. So basically we will need the LiDAR DSM file and I'll show you how you can download it. What we're going to do first is file import and we're going to bring in our PWG with the side boundary. So now once we brought it in, what we want to do is we're going to go to our three websites that we need. So is the grid reference finder, the nearby.org and the survey data download. So the grid reference finder, we use it so we can get the postcode. Then we go to the survey data download so we can find where we are. Now, since we are here, what we're going to do is we're going to click this download item and we're going to go to the pen tool. So basically, once you click the download, it will appear and click the pen tool and we're going to highlight the area that we want. And we're going to hit get available tiles. So it will take a few seconds to get your available tiles. In the meantime, go back to your grid reference finder and get your long uh, grid reference number and plug it in into your postcode and hit go now you will see that there is a number that should appear at the bottom now obviously our site is this one so let's use the main grid reference so basically i did two points because the tiles come split even smaller pieces so let's use this one to find what tile number we're needing so it's the 0691 so we go back to our uh, DEFRA survey data download and we can see that we have DSM, DTM, LiDAR point cloud. So we're going to use DC, uh, DSM, which stands for digital surface model. And we're going to hit the blue link so we can get to download it. And we hit download. It will take a few seconds. So let's go back to our folder, refresh, and we're going to extract all. And as you can see here, there are many ASC files and we need the 691. So we're going to go back to our PDS. We're going to go file, import. We're going to switch the import type file to uh, ESRI or the ASC uh, file extension. We're going to select the 0691, which is the number of the tile that we got from the nearby.org.uk uh, website. We hit OK and this window will appear. Now this window has three radio buttons. So basically if you can select one of the any options called radio button. So read contents whole file that will put everything in. Display extents of data in files. So basically we'll draw a boundary for to show you what files it's importing. 
and then import data from file. Now let's do the display extent so just so you can understand. So basically the file we selected to import will import points within this boundary. However, we don't need all these points over here, so we need just here. That is why we imported the side boundary. Now we're gonna hit import data, digitize window and closing data to import. Hit OK, select our boundary and hit enter. Now, as you can see, it brought all the points. We're gonna hit no, and then we're gonna go. Now we want this corner. So this was not picked up in the grid reference. So what we're gonna do to do it, go back to the grid reference finder, click further down the bottom to the corner that was missing, go back to nearby.org, paste it, hit go, and you can see is the 690. We go back to our PDS, file import. We're gonna switch the file to 690. We're gonna hit OK. We're going to display extent just to show you one more time so you can see this is the right one import data digitize window and select it and hit enter and voila so we're gonna set up a project just so we can delete the boxes so let's go create pds and let's save it in here hit ok and ok again so we're gonna select both delete and you have there you have it now, if we view the 3D view, you can see it brought the buildings outlines. So what I would suggest is the following. One way is to delete them. The other way is just to zoom that way and delete everything. Or what you can do is, since we know roughly the building shapes, right? So we know the areas here and we know the levels that might be a tiny bit higher. So what I would suggest is the following. Go to PGM, build model, build PGM. Build the general PGM, like the whole thing. It will ask you, yes, the proximity boundary is fine, 114. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna create a new file. We're gonna go to create a new folder, call it models, and give our ground model name, existing LiDAR. So, we're not gonna triangulate, we're gonna just initialize the PGM. Now, I'm just gonna rotate it slightly. And what I'm gonna do is in the view, actually not in the settings preferences, and in the screen settings, in the, where is it? I'm not sure if I can see the point. So what I'm trying to change is the point pixel. So point, yeah, size pixel one, hit okay. And that should make it smaller. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is utility get level. And what I'm gonna do is is let's say more style settings. We want text height of one. And yeah, that should do. Okay. And okay. So I'm gonna select here and put some text so I can see the level difference from the building to the roof. Now you'll be like, Ferdy, why are you doing this? Well, it's it's so when I can build the model for this area, like for this roof, it will be slightly different. So I can assess what's the roof level, what's the ground level actually. So as you can see here, I put the levels up here so you can see, hopefully it picked it up correctly. And we have some more buildings over here. So they've been demolished because this is 2017, the LiDAR, was done before these buildings were demolished so we go back to bottom view and if you can see here 9707 9709 so 97 nine, basically 98 99 107 102 so basically let's assume anything above 100 so what we can do is go let's view here as well double check 98 okay so anything above 100 so if we go pgm build model build pgm again and we're gonna hit ok well, my bad we shouldn't have hit ok so we're gonna go pgm build model build pgm we're gonna go user defined the minimum omit data above maximum level so 100 so anything above will not be counted we're gonna hit ok see 99 99.998 hit ok and create new file Let's replace our existing LiDAR. Yes. And OK. And now let's contour it. So I would expect to see some contours surrounding the perimeter of the building where it starts to go into 100. So yeah, so it's about right. So if you can see here, it didn't pick up the buildings. 
because the contours would have been all the way up there but their contours are all the way down the ground and that is how you get your lidar information in pds now this step where you do this is basically sometimes unnecessary if you have downloaded the dtm probably you wouldn't have picked the the any trees because in this case we don't have any trees but the dsm i think it just picks the surface like how the surface is but dtm is for terrain so the actual terrain how it looks like so that's how we do it so if we actually went to pgm display pgm go to surface mesh uh let's do it every two meters and okay and okay again and if we view it now actually let's hide the point as well just so we can be sure so see it picked slightly the building edges but overall it's better than picking the whole roof level so 